Hello, my name is Mark Beck, and I recently wrote a book on Corel's Video Studio Pro X4 that you can order on Corel's website. Among the requests made to the Video Studio team from places such as the Video Studio Facebook page is for a set of instructional videos that speak to the basics of using Video Studio. And that's what this is. This video will introduce you to the process of applying special effects to your movies. Video effects, or filters as they're also referred to, are applied to clips in order to change style or appearance. Use them to enhance your clips or to fix flaws in them. This process is a lot easier than you think. It's as easy as drag and drop. Video effects can be applied to individual scenes or an entire movie. You can apply multiple effects and even the way they are ordered might change the look of the scene. Let's try some out. In Video Studio Pro X4, I have a single movie of a city scene I'm going to use. I'm going to add some weather effects. Because it's all in a single scene, the effects I add will apply to the entire movie. If I had multiple scenes, effects will be applied to individual clips instead. Go to the vertical bar between the preview window and the gallery and select the FX icon. The gallery will display all the filters Video Studio contains. In the drop-down list at the top, you can narrow down the list into different categories. Choose Special. This is where all the weather effects are. By simply dragging and dropping one at a time in the following order, add the cloud, lightning, rain, and wind filters right onto the timeline clip like this. You might notice that the wind filter actually affected the rain coming down in an odd way. This is because the wind filter was added after the rain filter, so it affected all the other effects laid down before it in a layered fashion. Let's adjust this by changing the order of the effects. Double-click the clip in the timeline to bring up the Options panel. The Options panel will display the appropriate tools depending on what item you clicked on to open it. Here it should open to the Attribute panel. If it doesn't, click the Attributes tab to bring it to the forefront. Here you'll see the list of filters you added in the order you added them. Click to highlight the wind filter at the bottom, then click the up arrow twice to move it up two levels in this list. In effect, moving it behind the rain and the lightning filters. Notice the change in the preview window. The rain and lightning are no longer affected by the wind, but the clouds still are. Let's now adjust the attributes of a couple of these. Select the lightning filter in the list. Click the drop down arrow to the left of Customize Filter. We'll discuss the Customize Filter feature in another video. Not all filters have this, but this list displays several pre-made customized versions of this filter. Double click the one in the upper right corner. Notice how the lightning filter has changed its attributes in the preview window. You can also adjust the other filters the same way if you like. I changed the rain choice too. Now rewind and play your movie to preview it. There you have it. To learn more about Video Studio Pro X4, I suggest subscribing to the Video Studio channel on YouTube, join the conversation on Facebook.com slash Video Studio, or take a look at my new book, which again you can order from Corel.com.